Hi, my name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes, we're going to take a look at the differences between Lightroom Classic and the all new Lightroom CC so that you can decide which one is right for your workflow. First, let me start by saying that either of the Lightroom solutions can work for both professionals and amateurs, just different kinds with different workflows. And Adobe is committed to supporting both desktop centric and cloud centric photography workflows. We added an entirely new version of Lightroom because we didn't want to disrupt anyone's current workflow, and because we know that there are many different ways of working with images. And regardless of which application you choose, the Lightroom apps download, install, and run on your desktop. So before we dive into the ways that Lightroom Classic and Lightroom CC differ from one another, in general, we have found that Lightroom Classic, which is our desktop-centric photography workflow, is well suited for customers who want to store their files locally, use a file or folder-based workflow, and like to edit on their desktop. We have found that the all-new Lightroom CC, our cloud-centric photography workflow, is well suited for photographers who want to access their full-resolution photos across multiple devices, they often take photos on their mobile phones, and they like to edit and share on the go. OK, so let's get more specific. The first big difference between the applications is where your files are stored. In Lightroom Classic, you manage the location of your photos using the operating system's file and folder system. And typically, these files are stored locally on internal or external hard drives or on a local server. This means that in Lightroom Classic, you need to have an understanding of how Lightroom's catalogs work in order to access your files across multiple computers. In Lightroom CC, you upload all the original full resolution photos to the cloud. You don't have to manage your files, and you don't have to know anything about working with catalogs. Your images are stored in the cloud, making it easy to access and edit your images across multiple computers. Now, I know what you might be thinking, that a cloud-based solution is going to be too slow for your workflow, but I wouldn't jump to that conclusion because you don't have to wait for your photos to upload before working on them. For example, you can download images from a camera to your laptop, edit using Lightroom CC while they're stored locally, and then sync your photos to the cloud when it's convenient. And you can work with offline files when you need to. The second difference is whether or not you have access to the full resolution files across multiple devices. So in Lightroom Classic, you manually control and manage which files are synchronized to the cloud using collections. Collections sync low resolution proxies, though, called smart previews, rather than the full resolution images. In most instances, a low resolution proxy is fine if you're posting to social media, for example but it can limit the file sharing that you do with other people. In Lightroom CC, because your photographs are stored in the cloud, you can access and edit the full resolution image from any device. Now, the third difference is how files are backed up. In Lightroom Classic, you're responsible for backing up your files. Typically, this means that you need to manage additional hard drives and maybe software for creating copies of your images in case of like a drive failure. In Lightroom CC, once your photos are synced, they're backed up with redundancy in the cloud. If needed, with Lightroom CC, you can choose to download a copy of your individual images, or if you want, all of your images to a local drive. OK, the fourth difference is the depth of editing controls. Lightroom Classic has the highest quality and most powerful non-destructive image editing technology in the industry. And while the team's intent is feature parity across the products, we're not there yet in version one. But remember, the first version of Lightroom a decade ago didn't even have the crop tool. All right, the fifth difference is how easily you can find your files. With Lightroom Classic, you have extensive control over the addition of metadata, such as keywording. However, the process is mostly manual, and it is time consuming. With Lightroom CC, because your images are in the cloud, Lightroom CC can utilize the power of Adobe Sensei's artificial intelligence and machine learning to help you find your images based on image content, so you don't have to tag or keyword your images just to find them. As you can see, there are several other features that are in Lightroom Classic that are not in Lightroom CC at the time of this recording. 
Now, to be fair, these features aren't essential to every photographer's workflow, but if they're critical to your workflow, then Lightroom Classic, our desktop-centric photography workflow, might be a better choice for you at this time. On the other hand, if you want to access your original, full-resolution photos across multiple devices, if you routinely take photos on your mobile phones and you like to edit and share on the go, Lightroom CC, our cloud-centric photography workflow, might work better for you. This is only the first version of Lightroom CC, and there is lots more to come. Adobe is committed to developing and supporting both Lightroom Classic and Lightroom CC workflows, and we would love to hear your feedback. So tell us what you think on feedback.photoshop.com. I hope that helps. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.